Thank you for joining us for this edition of the Marshall and Sterling Compliance Minute series. Today we will be reviewing creditable coverage reporting. If you are an employer offering prescription drug coverage to Medicare eligible individuals, then each year you must take the following actions. First, determine if the prescription plan you offer is creditable, meaning it is expected to pay on average as much as the standard Medicare prescription drug plan. Second, communicate your determination to both Medicare eligible beneficiaries on your plan and to CMS. This notice is required so that Medicare eligible individuals will know if they should remain in their current group prescription drug plan or if they need to enroll in a Medicare Part D plan. First, you need to figure out if your coverage meets the creditable standard. There are several ways to determine if your plan is creditable, such as hiring an actuary. However, CMS has provided a simplified determination, and this is the most commonly used method. If your plan design meets all four of the below listed criteria, it is deemed creditable. By October 15th each year, employers must provide a written disclosure notice to all Medicare-eligible individuals who are covered under its prescription drug plan. A model creditable coverage disclosure notice can be found on the CMS website. Annually, employers must also disclose to CMS, via their online disclosure form, the creditable coverage status of their prescription drug plan. On the CMS website, you will enter, verify, and submit disclosure information, and you will receive submission confirmation once completed. That concludes this Compliance Minute. We hope you found this brief overview helpful. Thank you so much for joining us.